All right, so we're checking out the only game that was funded by Donald Trump. It's Border Force U.S. Mexico Edition. In Border Force U.S. Mexico Edition, you play a young man who originally wanted to go to college for architectural engineering, however, ended up spending all of his time on beer, women, and shoes. As such, you scored poorly on the SATs and now must be a part of the Border Force. Campaign mode, damn it. It's 2020 and the wall is up. Let's make America safe again. Ooh. I have a feeling I'm not going to end up making America safe. I like also how the United States safety only takes five days. This is all we have. I don't know what happens after the fifth day. I assume either you're fired or you've just had enough and you quit. <laughs> oh no, game. Jesus Christ. It's good to see that uh, without any help from me, the game has managed to insult everyone in the first 30 seconds. You were specially requested here after your stellar performance on the British border. <laughs> the glorious leader has finally finished the wall. No more tacos, no more illegal fuel, American food for American people. <laughs> Who made the, I gotta know where this developer is from. God damn, I'm gonna get in trouble just for saying what's on the text. Welcome to Mexico, everyone. This is what Mexico looks like. I know this for certain because there's a sign right there that says, Welcome to Mexico. <laughs> That's a Canadian wallet or whatever this is. Apparently, bananas and tacos are illegal today. Good to know. Oh, shit. I don't remember how to check any of this. Look at all this illegal contraband. We've got a taco and a banana, you son of a bitch. So we're given a truck to put all the contraband in? What happens if you put the truck in front of the next car? I'm kind of curious now. Here's your ID back, Canadian scumbag. Take your taco Sundays. There's no good way to say this. You left your guns and drugs behind. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, what? Okay. Oh shit. Oh no. <laughs> I, I broke the game. <laughs> you need this you need the truck to complete the game. <laughs> it only took me two minutes. You can't stop me from wanting to do this. I don't care who you are. America! Alright, never mind. You can totally stop me from doing this. Alrighty. Mopar, no par, baby. I'll bring this. I'll turn this thing on its side. I swear to God. Boom, got it, America. Now I just have to do a 35 point turn in order to get out of this. You could tell this guy's from the US. His freaking license plate is freedom. Cheeky bastard's trying to hide a banana in his wheel well. Well, having him back up wasn't a good idea either. <laughs> oh my God. Son of a bitch. Great taco fell out of my truck. Please don't back up into my. Never mind. This guy's got so many Lone Star burgers, they're clipping through his truck. This guy's license plate is Big Taco. Seriously? <laughs> Inside of the back of his van, there's shit. It's like three foot tall tacos. Are you, are you watching Taco Bell? This is a Taco Supreme. Okay, when I can use my taco as a Spartan shield, that's when you can call it a Supreme. Good work, we have some new hardware arriving. Praise the glorious leader. I don't know how I managed to survive this day. Oh, I'm gonna hate this Bruh. board. Oh my God, I'm sorry I ever brought this friggin' bomb detecting wand, shut up. It's a late night out here on the border. I'm looking for uh, bouncing nukes. They're everywhere these days. Kids are getting their hands on them. I don't really know what the point of this stage is, other than picking up, like, random gasoline tanks that have been strewn all around the board. I remember when I was a young man, taking gas tanks and just randomly leaving them next to motels and such. Pretty sure that's something every juvenile has done at least once in their life. Don't mind the dried blood going into this house here. Very common in the Mexican-American border. Oh. These buildings aren't real. I can just teleport inside of them. That's good to know. No, no, this is real. <laughs> Bunch of lies. Uh, Trump cutting corners. 
I found the best way to beat this board is you take two of the wands, you put one facing one way in the truck, one facing the other way in the truck, and there you go. Okay, never mind. One of mine is levitating into space. Well, sh I like how in other countries, when people are picking up trash, they're picking up, you know, maybe like bottles or cans, maybe food wrappers. Over here in the United States, you pick up bombs. This is an accurate representation of the litter over here. Look at this. Kids come out here partying. They leave behind all their bombs. The glorious leader has banned all forms of sport that aren't baseball. Soccer balls and footballs are now contraband. <laughs> Secondly, we have a new arrangement with Cuba. We allow their citizens and they keep us stocked with cheese and alcohol. <laughs> what? Look at this guy. Soccer balls rolling around all over the place. You think you can bring your fake sports over to America? All right, official border police business. I'm gonna have to confiscate your balls. Now get the hell out of here and don't destroy my truck. All right, hold on. I want to put a soccer ball in front of this truck. Here we go. Let's see how it goes. Hey, it's a good kick. All right, Cuba. Do you have the prerequisite amount of cheese on you? You do. Very good. Got your Starbucks over here. Looks like you're going to be going back to the wife with only one ball today. Here, I got some extra IDs. You can have these. All right, we got an American on our hands here. Look at all this cheese. I got it. You sneaky. You think you can come over here to Trump's country with your footballs, touching your cheesed wheels? Maybe you'll enjoy it if I beat the hell out of your windshield with my football. <laughs> All right, there's your ID. Put it on the front right like that so everyone can see you're an American. And remember, baseballs only. Get out of here. All right, ready? Epic Banana Toss 2019. Oh, we're way downtown. All right, this guy has to get, he's not allowed in, but I just want to put all of his boxes here just to see what happens when he backs over them. Okay, you're denied. Oh, it's not that bad. It's not like when I put my truck there and all freaking help breaks loose. How about if I just put myself here? Yeah, they just moved me. So there's something I have to try just because the way that the assets in this game interact make me wonder just what sort of insanity we can cause. I want to put everything I can possibly get from all of the vehicles into my truck. I then want to put my truck behind this truck, tell this truck that it can't come into the border, and then watch as it backs up and probably shoots my truck into space. So you want to get your vehicle lodged against the pipe as tightly as humanly possible. That's hot. Gotta make sure everything goes into the death pocket. Oh yeah, we got plenty of items here to use. There's stuff on the other side of this place too. I think I'm gonna grab all that as well. <laughs> I'm really hoping I can send the first hot pizza into space. Where the hell did that pizza just go? We don't need physics in Mexico. I can teleport stuff right out of people's trunks, yes. I thought I was gonna be limited in what I could take just from people with open trucks. But that is not the friggin' case. By the power of Grayskull, your cheese is mine, bitch. Okay, I've got a ton of crap in the back. Now let's see if it can light this stuff up. All right, deny. You know, that wasn't that bad. <laughs> what the hell? It's all sticky to the truck. Jesus. Okay, new plan. I'm gonna put this stuff in the truck that I deny. Because apparently when it's in my truck, it just sticks to the ground. <laughs> Actually, hold on. I've got another idea. Maybe it's because it was in the back. How about if we put it on, like, the hood and stuff? I swear to God, I'm going to get this cheese launched into the stratosphere one way or the other. So help me, God. Just, like, balance it. Yeah, like, right like that. Okay, this is turning out really good. There's a nice platform up here for me to put all this stuff. <laughs> I can't believe how that stack worked. Satan! We offer these cheese wheels to you now, you son of a How could this happen? What? <laughs> Truck's got a couple of dents in it. My god, I've damaged the truck so much that the American flag is levitating three inches off of the frame. <laughs> you thought your assets would get away from me unscathed foolishness. All right, if I, if I put, if I kind of like juggle the balls like this, I think they'll stay on the truck. This is what we were missing the whole time. A taco. Uh, 
All right, I'm hoping for a new record here, baby. I'll let you get some speed this time before you send my truck into space. <laughs> That's taking it with him. Hold on. Let you bring my truck back here, you bastard. <laughs> All right, so there's supposed to be a government van coming, and we're just supposed to let it go by without checking what's inside. Obviously, we're going to look at what's inside. Considering so far, our superior officer is wearing a sombrero on top of his friggin' border officer hat, and tacos and bananas are illegal, I can only imagine what sort of offensive material is gonna be in the back. <laughs> I think I feel- what is this? <laughs> is it because I went to go touch it? Oh Christ, did I just lose the game or win the game? I'm not really sure what that means. We won. By the glory of our great- our glorious leader Trump's powers. We have completed this game. Well folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Border Force. The offensiveness material is up about 300% from the first one, so hey! The developer's really making strides. Anyway, folks, till the next time, stay foxy and much love. <laughs>